looks like. It's it's actually, crazy hair. Oh. You look like the guy in Soren. That when you take it off, you'd be bald. <laughs> I gotta know. When can we do this again? So this is our second Disney vlog, and we wanted to do something fun and kind of different. We have some Disney trips coming up in the near future, so this will be kind of one of our last. Um, talking vlogs about Disney and then hopefully we'll have some vlogs from the park over the next couple months so we thought it'd be really fun to do one of the Disney challenges so we decided to come up with our own so it's called the Disney 10 in 10 challenge and we are gonna share our top 10 Disney memories in 10 minutes so we're each gonna share we'll go back and forth and we'll each share five and we have one minute each so Mark is gonna start the timer. Okay, here we go. Timer is starting. Okay, so 10 minutes. So I'll start. So um, my, probably my top, one of my top Disney memories was the Disneyland 24 hour day that we did in 2014, 15, 14, 15? <laughs> I don't know. It was the kickoff of the 60th anniversary and we flew out, um, worked all day on Friday, flew out on Friday night from Denver. Um, got there, went straight to the park, stood in line, got into the park at 6 a.m., went till 6 a.m. the next morning, and then flew home that night. So I think we were up for like... 63 hours. 63 hours. So, But it was really cool. We got to see the premiere of the Paint the Night Parade and the um, new 60th anniversary celebration fireworks and the World of Color, and it was just really cool and really awesome to get to see all of that with people that were seeing it for the first time. And, that's why we have our 60th anniversary ears on. All right. All right, so I'm gonna tag off that one and talk a little bit about the Paint the Night Parade. Okay. So I think that's one of my uh, best memories because you took the 60th. I did. Uh, um, so the Paint the Night Parade is one of my favorites because it's it's awesome. I mean, it, it leverages the intro from um, uh, Spectral Magic. Mm -hmm. And, and so you hear that when the parade kicks off, and then it's just an absolute song. I mean, when you hear the beginning of this vlog, that's the song we used for it. So, uh, as well as it's just a really cool night parade. Uh, Disney night parades, they always do a really good job on, and this one, they just blew it out of the park. Uh, they just made it absolutely spectacular and amazing. Yeah, and it was really funny when we saw it for the first time, that guy standing next to it. Yes. You yeah, can go, hear it in the little video Yeah, clip. go back to the last Disney vlog and you'll uh, you'll hear it in the video you clip. You can hear him that, saying, oh, the feels! Yeah, he was, so, he was, it was really enjoying it. It was entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I would say then my next um, Disney memory that I really love is the first Disney cruise that we went on together. We went on the Disney Fantasy in 20, December of 2015. Um, and we it was for my 29th birthday. Um, we sailed out from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Uh, we got to do some days in the parks and Disney World before and then we did a seven day cruise on the Fantasy and we stopped at um, Grand Cozumel. Cozumel, Mexico, Grand Cayman um, and, and then, Disney's private, and then Disney's private Island. So it was really just a ton of fun. I think we took advantage of every piece that we possibly could on the cruise. Um, and we, we got to see the premiere of the Star Wars The Force Awakens. So that was really cool. Yeah. Um, for the relaunch of Star Wars, we got to be on the cruise when it came. So technically we got to see it before anybody on land. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. Um, and we did a land to sea and a sea to land. So we got to do Disney World before and after the trip. So that was, yeah. that that's definitely one of my favorite memories. I think that was just a really magical trip for the two of us. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm going to tag off that one again. I'm going to say my first time on a Disney cruise. So when, when we went together, that was actually my second, um, building up to that silver level. Uh, and so, but my first time, it was, it was absolutely just amazing to be on a Disney ship. So previously I had done a carnival cruise with my family. This mm -hmm. was before you and I had met. Um, I had done a carnival cruise with my family, and, and those are fun, um, but, you know, not a Disney cruise. Uh, the Disney cruise takes it, to the next, next, next level. Um, and what we always find really interesting and what I found very interesting as a, as a youth aboard the Disney cruise ship is it is designed 
for youth. And what I mean by that is they have places for the youth to go. So unlike a, a, another ship where there may be just a ton of kids running around, that was not the case on the Disney ship. I had a place to go and I hung out there and stayed there pretty much all the time while you know, my family went and did other things. Yeah, so we're really excited to take Wally on his yeah. first cruise and have him be able to experience all the kids clubs. So, um, okay, well, I'll kind of take off of that then. So I think one of my favorite Disney memories is the very first time I ever went to Disney World with my family when I was little. I was in fifth grade and I remember that we went over Thanksgiving and my parents told me it was probably like a little over a year in advance that we were going and I made this huge paper chain counting down the days until we went and it wrapped all the way around my canopy bed and I would take a link off every day. I was so excited to go. I was a huge Disney nerd and would watch Disney Channel all the time. Um, that was back in the days when you had to pay to have the Disney Channel separate. It was a, like the special little box. Um, so definitely was one of my favorite memories just getting to go there for the very first time and it was back um, back before Animal Kingdom opened. It was during the 25th um, celebration, birthday celebration for the Magic Kingdom. So I got to see the Magic Kingdom castle for the very first time as a birthday cake. So that was really cool to get to see that. It's cool now looking back on it. I know a lot of people were upset about it being a cake and if, if it was your only time going to Disney World, um, that would definitely kind of stink to not get to see Cinderella's castle. But I guess I knew in my heart that I'd be going back and now, obviously, we go a lot. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's a fun memory. Um, I'm going to say my next my next fun memory was, uh, you know, the first time, and I'm going to keep this one short, the first time I ever did uh, the Carousel of Progress. Mm. Um, and, I, and I don't specifically remember it, but I want to talk about that, right, just in general, because it's something that Walt Disney put together, and it was actually not designed to be in the park. It was designed to be out at the World's Fair and so I thought that was that was very cool and, and I've, I've loved the music from that and the, and the whole uh, concept behind the Carousel Progress uh, ever since I, I first wrote it. Yeah, Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow is definitely one of our favorite songs yeah. so we try and we try and do that right? I haven't done it with Wally yet because it's kind of long and um, you're kind of trapped in the theater so we're not sure yeah. how he'll take it but we definitely want to do that with him um, soon maybe, yep. on, maybe on a trip in the next year so um, so I'm going to talk about our run Disney experiences. So I think that's definitely some of my favorite memories. I think that specifically of all the run Disney races we did, um, it's hard to pick. Um, we did our coast to coast and that was really fun. But I think my favorite run Disney memory, even though it didn't end so well for me, was probably the um, inaugural Star Wars race weekend in Disneyland. Mm -hmm. um, we, again... We're crazy. We flew out on a Thursday, did the expo, ran the 5K Friday morning, the 10K Saturday morning, and the half marathon Sunday morning. And we're in pretty rough shape by the end of it. I ended up getting um, compartment syndrome in my ankle, and my ankle just like swelled to 10 times its size on, by the time we landed back home in Denver because we flew home the night after we ran the half marathon that morning. But it was just an amazing experience and just really fun to do a Star Wars race and we dressed up for every one of the races and um, we even had like a Disney photographer took our picture and we were part of some of the Run Disney pictures yeah, that were on featured. on the Run Disney website, you'll see our picture in front of the... Uh, uh, the teacups. The I don't tea know cups. if it's still on there, but it was yeah. on there when they did their like yeah. photos from the inaugural race. So that was just a really fun memory and it's been really fun to do the Run Disney races and we hope to do more someday, but we got to get ourselves back in shape first. Yeah, I'm gonna say the the wine and dine, which which. Hey, Biggie. <laughs> Keep going. Hey, Biggie is with us. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say the wine and dine, which was uh, I'm thinking back to that time. That was my inspiration to start running. Mm -hmm. um, you had inspired me to start running to do that race, um, and it's just kind of fun to, you know run that race and then end up at Epcot. And I don't even think they do that anymore. You end up at Epcot uh, when we did it, and then you stay there and party until 2 a.m. Um, after you just ran a half marathon. So they, they have some of their wine and food festival booths open, and um, man, nothing beats going for a 13-mile uh, run and then ending yeah. with some good wine That's and some true. good food at Epcot. All right, so my last memory, and we've got a minute 30, so my Blast last one that I'm going to share is I actually have on my Moonlight Magic shirt from the Animal Kingdom Moonlight Magic Party. That was the first Moonlight Magic that we ever went to as DVC members, and it was actually 
about a year ago, we went for Labor Day week, um, and then we ended up getting stuck in Hurricane Irma, which was a little crazy, but it was just a really fun trip, and it was really fun to get to do that Moonlight Magic, and it wasn't, Pandora hadn't been open that long, so it was really cool to get to ride Flight of Passage with hardly having to wait in line at all, and just really getting to have a lot of fun with that, so... Um, well, it's crazy that we were stuck there for a hurricane, and at the time it was a little scary. I think looking back on it, it's it's kind of one of my favorite Disney memories. It was a crazy trip. So, my last favorite memory is going with people other than yourself, and and very specifically, I mean, the fact that we took our nephew when he was eight, mm -hmm. and our niece when he was when she was eight, and now taking Walter and seeing him mm -hmm. multiple times in the parks. You've experienced the parks through your eyes, but getting to experience it through their eyes is something that mm -hmm. I never thought I would enjoy as much as I have. Yeah. Um, they, they see things totally different, and, and even Disney itself has designed some things into the park where you have to be of that age or of that height to be able to see some of the things, and, and the fact that you, know, you going as adults, if, if, if you can, Find you know find some family members that are younger uh, to take with you a niece a nephew, uh, granddaughter grandson. All right. And that's the end of our. That's time. our timer. So we got through our top ten Disney memories, and it was a lot of fun just to to do a challenge. And um, it's really hard to summarize your favorite Disney memories and think about what they are, but um, but we've had a lot of really good ones, and so we wanted to just do this off the cuff and just the top ten that came to our mind and. We know we'll have many, many more memories in the future. So um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we wanted to tag Brock and Promise over at Ears to You to do the 10 and 10 Disney challenge as well. So there we go. You know, uh, this is the wonderful world of Walter, except this is Biggie. <laughs> and we love you just the way you are. Bye.